Sarah Ann coming to this reunion only made her look worse than she already does. This was a horrible PR move from her. Also just made her look like an absolute pick me girl. Like she's trying to deny this title. She was trying to call Laura a pick me girl, but you were looking like a big fat pick me. Like I think it's very obvious that Sarah Ann was looking for attention. She craves attention, but girl, at least get a PR team, darling. Get a PR team. You trying to rule dog this PR is not working for you, girl. I feel like the play should have been that she came in humble. She puts her hands up. She puts she admits to her wrongs. She apologizes to Laura. Her and Jeremy could do their whole yes, how we started was wrong, but we really loved each other and we're in love now and we're happy. That could have been the narrative where yes, you would still look bad. But you would have looked a bit better than you did. This was just a train wreck. She was speaking so loud. You could tell that Jeremy is embarrassed by her. He was trying to get her to calm down. And she just kept piping up. And she just wasn't making sense. You know what? I feel like she was emboldened by the whole Team Laura, Team Sarah type of thing. Because, you know, she had she did get a bit of support, I've got to say. Like, because she did get a lot of support, I think namely because a lot of people don't like Laura because they think that she's a mean girl. And granted, she is a bit mean. But I feel like because people had a problem with Laura, some people were backing Sarah. But I, So I feel like because she saw online she was getting, you know, some backing, you know, there was a bit of, oh, well, fuck Laura going on. She thought she could come out guns blazing. No, Horn, it wasn't the right play. Ultimately, she just came off crazy and very juvenile. I think coming for Laura was just the wrong play. You stole her man. You went behind her back and stole her man. So I don't understand this. Oh, Laura was talking shit about me in the pods. So now I have beef with her. Like, come on, girl. Like, of course, she was talking shit about her competition. I'm surprised Sarah Ann didn't say, ha ha, like you were talking shit about me in the pods and I stole your man. Like that's the energy it was giving. And another reason why I feel like she should have been quiet is because if she was quiet and humble, exposure wouldn't have been as much because Chelsea was spilling the tea and throwing a lot of shade Sarah Ann's way. Because of course the question came up of whether she talks to the girls because she insinuated that there was some animosity between her and the women because of the whole um, Jeremy, Laura, love triangle situation. And of course she wants to play the victim and be like, well, yeah, they all have animosity towards me. And Chelsea piped up and she was like, well, maybe it's because you unfollowed us all, but stayed following all our fiancés after the whole um, lake meet up. Sarah, and it's not looking good for you, girl. It's looking like you out here plotting to steal people's fiancés or sending a message because what type of message does that send you just stole somebody's fiance and then you unfollowed all the women and are just following their fiancés it's not a good look sarah ann and it's also again it's just adding to the pick me girl allegations another thing chelsea let slip because chelsea was just coming for sarah ann like after laura it was number two Chelsea. I'm surprised AD didn't jump in. But, you know, Laura and Chelsea, they were holding down the fort, honey. Loki, I think Chelsea was looking for for a sacrifice so that the heat wasn't on her. So she offered up Sarah Ann on a plate, honey. Um, but Chelsea basically spilled the tea that Sarah and Jeremy, Sarah Ann and Jeremy have broken up multiple times. Like they're on and off. And I think that is very clear. Even the body language on the reunion, the way that they were sitting, they were they were holding hands, but they were sitting away from each other. There was a lot of distance between them. As you can see, look, look, it's not giving together. His legs are crossed, like again, creating distance. She's sat away from him, and the only thing connecting them is their hands. But she kept doing this thing where she had to lean over to touch him, and I'm just like, this doesn't look very intimate. It looks like they're keeping up appearances. And I think the whole Chelsea, oh, whenever I meet you guys, you're always broken up, is a very big, is a very big tell that this relationship here is not going to work out. I had, you know, a few people saying, well, you know, Sarah got the man, she's better looking than Laura, blah, 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 blah. Well, it looks like the looks are not lasting. I mean, the look was not even giving today with this, this whole ensemble. 
Um, I highly suspect that Jeremy will be having a new girlfriend, new fiance next year. He's not going to be sticking around. Jeremy is all about image. And I think it was very important for him and Sarah Ann to still be together for his image. Because with all the foolishness that he was doing, it was going to look bad. And it was going to look bad on his image if he did all of that. And by the reunion, they weren't together. So he's made the decision to stick with Sarah Ann until the reunion, even moved in you know, even moved her into to keep up this facade, to keep up appearances for this show. He's come on the show with this Hawaiian shirt to, you know, take a jab at Laura. And I think him and Sarah Ann being together was, again, another jab at Laura to say, well, look, you know, I left you and here I am with my successful relationship. But look at them. They're a mess together. They can't even keep up appearances. So the fact that they're on and off, and they're talking about, oh, they've had, you know, it hasn't been easy, but they're fighting for their relationship. They've been together a year. It's only been a year. I suspect that in the next few months, they're going to break up. I don't think this is going to progress to marriage. Sarah Ann is annoying. I think Jeremy is very much done with her. You know, he was trying to get her to calm down in a reunion because, again, he's all about his image. He knew that Sarah Ann was looking crazy and he was telling her to calm down. And I think after, you know, watching back the reunion, seeing all the comments, people are not buying their relationship. You know, he has, he doesn't have to pretend to be in a relationship with her. He doesn't have to pretend to like her um, anymore. I think, like I said, Sarah Ann is probably very desperate to hang on to Jeremy. You know, she's living in the house rent free. This is a good deal for her. Of course, Sarah Ann's going to hang on, but I don't think that Jeremy is going to be with Sarah Ann for much longer he's an image guy he's clearly a narcissist he's very vain self-centered and sarah ann is not good for his image so i don't feel like they're going to last very long despite you know jeremy being sarah ann's whole heart and i think you know she put the nail in the coffin with this appearance you'd have a either had some media training or b did the smart thing and not show up because this made them both look bad, but especially Sarah Ann. But I've got to hear from you guys. What did you think of Sarah Ann in this reunion? Do you think she had the right to defend herself? Do you feel like she should have been quiet? Do you feel like she should have been humble? Do you feel like she should have played this a different way? Um, I've got to hear from you guys.